Hello my dear students, welcome to my YouTube channel that's Concepts of Chemistry. Before starting today's lecture, please do subscribe my channel. My dear students, today's topic for the lecture is the effective nuclear charge. And to understand the effective nuclear charge, let's recapitulate the previous lecture that's the screening effect or the shielding effect. So this is the a picture to make you understand the screening effect. Here you can see that this is the nucleus this is the outermost electron or the valence electron outermost electron or you can say the valence electron after that this is the inner electron as we all know the electrons are negatively charged this is also a negative charge but the nucleus is positively charged so what will happen there will be the attractive forces between the outer electron and the nucleus and at the same time there will be the repulsive forces between the outer electron and the inner electron due to which what will happen due to which the outermost electron will feel less attractive forces by the nucleus because of the repulsive forces between the outermost electron and the inner electron. That means the outer electron is experiencing the less attractive forces by the nuclear by the nucleus. So this reduced nuclear charge this reduced nuclear charge or you can say this reduced attractive forces of the nucleus for the outermost electron is termed as effective nuclear charge so now let's come to the points which you have written now here what i have written due to the screening effect comma the valence electron experiences less attractive forces by the nucleus comma this brings the decrease in nuclear charge that is the attractive forces by the nucleus for the outer electrons hence the decreased nuclear charge is termed as effective nuclear charge and is represented as z star it is related to the actual actual nuclear charge z as z star is equal to the z minus screening constant in the previous lecture i have made you understand certain slater's rule to evaluate the screening constant that's sigma let me give you some examples let's talk about the first of all lithium lithium its atomic number is three that means the value of z is three the actual nuclear charge is three now the screening constant of lithium came out to be 1.7 so the effective nuclear charge z star will be equal to the actual nuclear charge minus screening constant and it comes out to be 3 minus 1.7 so the effective nuclear charge for the lithium the out uh, for the outermost electron of the lithium comes out to be 1.3 now let me take an one more example the another example i'm taking it for oxygen what's the atomic number of oxygen the z is 8 that is actual nuclear charge is 8 the screening constant for oxygen came out to be 3.45 so that means effective nuclear charge will be actual nuclear charge minus sigma which is 3.45 so it comes out to be 8 minus 3.45 so the effective nuclear charge for oxygen for the outermost electron of oxygen comes out to be 4.55 so that's all for today i hope you understand the topic effective nuclear charge if any student wants to book a paid one-to-one -one online class to clear their doubts then he she can contact me my phone number is mentioned on thumbnail of this lecture please do like subscribe and share this channel to maximum number of students don't forget to press the subscribe button. Stay blessed.